Horizon Zero Dawn has you crafting, stalking and bow and arrowing your way around a vast open world, one that's packed with futuristic robotic beasts just dying to meet the end of your spear. But if you can't make it five feet from your campfire without some uppity robot horse chewing your legs off, how will you ever become the sci-fi beast master of legend you're destined to be? Never fear, here are seven tips to help you dominate and better enjoy the game's opening stages. The first time a machine slams full on into your ribcage, you'll realise that taking almost any hit in Horizon Zero Dawn costs a huge chunk of health, perhaps more than you'd expect. As such, the first step to post-apocalyptic success is not to take that damage in the first place. As early as possible, get used to using the circle button, which makes Aloy perform a cool action roll to dodge attacks. This manoeuvre is equally good for dealing with charging and long-range assaults, and mastery of it is central to the game's combat. Get some early practice at rolling out of the way and then quickly letting fly with your bow, and you'll have the early game sewn up tighter than a pair of boarskin leggings. The machine enemies are certainly most fun to hunt, but regular hot-blooded wildlife is just as important to take down. The reason is that various types of animal fat are key ingredients in crafting health potions, which you'll need a lot. Just don't think too hard about how that must taste. You should kill and loot every critter you see, from rabbits to boars to turkeys. Although easy to dispatch, animals aren't always that easy to see, so keep an eye out for movement in the grass, and check your focus by pressing in the right stick to tag them from afar before charging in for the kill. You'll feel less bad about unleashing a massive combat move on a tiny animal when you're rolling in health potions. Disciplined RPGers leave no stone, tree or enormous robot dinosaur corpse unturned. At least for the first chunk of Horizon Zero Dawn, you should pick up everything you can. You can carry a surprising amount of junk right from the get-go, so fill your boots because it's going to come in handy once you get crafting. There's plenty of good stuff to build in Horizon Zero Dawn, but crafting-wise, your priority should be on increasing the amount of potions and resources you can carry. It's nice to have a bigger quiver, but when it's so easy to craft new arrows in the middle of a fight, it's less important than having a ready supply of potions to use mid-combat. The good news is, if you've been collecting everything, you may not even need any additional bits and bobs to get the first bunch of gear upgrades, and don't be surprised if you finish a few side quests before they've even begun, because you've hoarded everything that's not nailed down. We need to harvest lance horns. They carry chill water, and their lenses have many uses also. I have chill water now. At first glance, Horizon Zero Dawn's talent tree appears to be asking you to choose between three kinds of playstyle. Super stealthy silent killer, noisy master of death, or, um, foraging. But however you're planning on specialising, the silent strike skill is more or less essential, so definitely nab it first. This skill lets you instantly take down some surprisingly big machines, and do so without alerting their cybernetic cohorts. Even if you don't like stealth, the value of this easy upgrade can't be overstated. Considering how precious fire was to the original cave folk, you get the power to wield flame surprisingly early in Horizon Zero Dawn. Specifically, the ability to wallop an explosive fire arrow directly into the parts of your enemies they would least like to have a fire arrow walloped into. What might not be obvious, however, is that fire damage stacks. So, after loosing a flame arrow, follow it up with another direct hit and you'll see the amount of damage you're dealing increases. Combine this with the relatively easy to unlock double shot skill and you'll quickly be able to clear a battlefield with just a few hits on each target. By all accounts, Aloy is a miracle of physical prowess, even at the game's opening, able to dive instantly into a combat role and power slide along the floor even while notching an arrow.
Good grief, that looks awesome. <clears throat> Where Aloy's physical limitations get a bit more realistic, however, is when you plunge her right over a rocky ledge. Even drop distances that don't seem massive can prove fatal. Watch out for these drops as you charge obstinately across the landscape. Needless to say, these simple tips have transformed you into an unstoppable hunter-gathering champion, so don't miss the chance to take a breather and mess around with Horizon Zero Dawn's extremely cool photo mode, which lets you artfully pose the staggeringly gorgeous game world to your heart's content. This photographic extra is extremely versatile, letting you move the camera, apply filters, even disappear Aloy and adjust focal distance to craft some properly artsy snaps. It won't make you any stronger, but there's so much to see and do in the early game that it would honestly be a pity not to spend a few minutes playing around with this easy to miss extra. And you thought selfies wouldn't survive the machine apocalypse. So those were just a few tips to get you started in Horizon Zero Dawn. If you've started playing and can think of any more advice for beginners, drop your ideas in the comments and happy hunting.